हे गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड वेलकम बैक टू अ फ्रेश न्यू वीडियो इट्स बिन लॉन्ग दैट आई हैव अपलोडेड अ न्यू वीडियो ड्यू टू कोल्ड आई वॉज लिटिल डाउन एंड ऑल्सो देर वेर सटिन थिंग्स रिगार्डिंग द न्यू फ्लैट एज आई हैव शेयर इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज इट वॉज ऑन एंड नॉ गोइंग टू कल्याणी एंड कमिंग बैक सो वी वेर लिटिल ऑक्यूपाइड एंड बिजी सो फर्स्टली आई वुड अपोलोजाइज एंड एम रियली रियली सॉरी दैट एम अपलोडिंग दिस वीडियो आफ्टर आई थिंक ऑलमोस्ट टेन डेज Uh, yeah it's been 10 days almost but as i promised you guys that i'll be sharing a fresh dog food or dog uh, homemade recipe video for your dogs so here i am today and um, this video i will be mostly speaking in english so that this is understandable by everyone um, generally i do my vlogs in mixing hindi and english mostly hindi but since this is a recipe video so i want this to be helpful for everyone i will mostly speak in english in case you have any further question or any confusion Please feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I will definitely answer you. And also, I am not a vet. I am not a certified nutritionist. I am just a pet mom of two munchkins, and I do uh, make homemade recipes based on their taste. And I do experiment, uh, keeping their body weight in mind, keeping their test buds in mind, and also keeping few of the challenges um, of making them eat vegetables and other nutritional food in mind. If you are following this recipe and making it at home, make sure you uh, consult your vet once, and you are also sure about each and every ingredients that you are going to put in this recipe and you need to make sure that your dog is absolutely not allergic to any of the ingredients that i'm going to use in this recipe without any further ado let's get started ingredients that i am using in today's recipe the main ingredient is mutton the base of this recipe would be minced mutton uh, you can definitely replace this meat with chicken lamb or uh, fish and if you feed your dog vegetarian diet you can definitely replace this with soya chunk but as i said make sure your dog your dog is not allergic to any of these ingredients red meat is another source of very good and rich protein in your dog's diet uh, if used occasionally in a limited portion uh, this can be very very beneficial as this helps the muscle strength and joint support also like chicken red meat also contains omega 6 so uh, if you are using red meat make sure your dog is not allergic to red meat so start with a li little portion first and see whether uh, there is any kind of uh, unusual reactions if not then you can start using it occasionally but with a very limited portion based on your dog's body weight and also based on the weather condition you are living in next the veggies that will be going in today's recipe this is sweet potato if you use regular potatoes in your dog's diet i would suggest try replacing that with sweet potato since this contains less starch and this has less fat content than the regular potatoes but everything should be used in a appropriate portion and proportion next thing is the super veggie we all know is carrot carrot is a great source of vitamin a and next i'll be using pumpkin these are uh, pumpkin diced in very small portions if your dog is constipated uh, frequently then you can try adding canned pumpkin or fresh pumpkin to their diet it is very very good for dog's gut health so the mutton keema i'll be using i have washed it very well and i have already boiled it in pressure cooker almost with 6 to 7 whistles because i need to be absolutely sure that this is not going raw in my baby's body that's why i have boiled it really well and i have also kept the mutton stock uh, this has got all the nutrition so don't throw it keep it will be using it in the recipe and to add little shine and taste to today's recipe i'll be also using this extra virgin olive oil many of you will be like oh you are using oil in your dog's food yes there are certain oils which is safe to use in your dog's diet but in a very limited portion uh, one is olive oil and other two options is fish oil and coconut oil since my babies are very very uh, they are very chalak you very chalak bro ah bahut chalak so i would avoid using oils which have a strong smell like coconut oil or fish oil instead of that i'll be using extra virgin olive oil make sure you are buying a oil which is not blended which is just pure olive oil check the ingredient list go for a good one a pure one if you go for a extra virgin one that is good it's good for your dog's coat and your their skin also this has omega 3 fatty acid and this is a very good laxative it's good for their digestive system as well only if your dog is not allergic this is safe to use in their diet occasionally and in a very limited portion i'll be using a non stick pan to start with this recipe 
and non-stick pant will prevent any sort of sticking since there will be very less oil that will be used um, in this meal keep the flame low to medium i'll add just just two three drops of olive oil i'll spread it well one after another i'll start adding the veggies will give everything a very good mix you need not to fry it you just need to mix everything well uh, so that it gets coated with the little bit amount of olive oil that we have used keep the flame low i'll be adding the mutton keema uh, when you add mutton keema your recipe gets a shine and uh, moisture instantly because uh, mutton keema definitely release all the good fat in this recipe and that makes our job easy otherwise this is very prone to stick i'll mix and stir it well for uh, about 5 to 6 minutes uh, since mutton keema has started releasing uh, water as well so i will let everything get mixed and cooked well in my all previous videos you have mostly seen me using mashed form of veggies but this time i have kept it in a very very small dice so that the meal gets a good texture because mutton keema is anyway very mushy and that will give the mushy content but this little chunks of veggies will give this recipe a good texture I am using only this three veggies since I'll be using it for both flurry and kiara and uh, flurry is not that good um, digesting a lot of vegetables at one time so I have kept it very short if you feed your dog spinach or a broccoli or any other green vegetables which are good for dogs you can definitely try adding those veggies here um, even spinach adding spinach and broccoli will increase the nutritional value of this recipe and for the vegetarian version of this recipe as I said you can use soya chunk you can uh, also use rolled oats and you can even uh, try this recipe uh, without any animal protein by only adding brown rice um, that will also make this a very good and healthy recipe for your dog before you add any new ingredients to your uh, dog's recipe make sure you check and you know well and you research well about each and every ingredients whether they are edible by dogs or not whether they are good for your dogs or not and every dog is different so their nutritional requirement is also different so plan a good well balanced recipe first and then try and experiment with it the water that was released by mutton keema is almost soaked now by all the veggies and the veggies have also started getting little soft and mushy so this is the time when i'll be adding this stock this mutton stock and uh, you can use chicken stock fish stock whichever meat you are using and uh, also you can use the vegetable stock in case you are making the vegetarian version add everything well let it come to boil and then cover and cook so this is come to boil i will cover it now put the flame in low to medium mutton keema is already cooked Uh, but the other veggies need to be softened enough and get mixed with each other well it's a very simple recipe takes very little time my uh, purpose is to share recipes which help you pet parents to uh, make these recipes these tasty recipes for your pets quickly and uh, being a parent of two i definitely know that especially during summer and monsoon uh, they get very fussy with their regular diet and um i also start getting hundreds of questions every day um that why my dog has stopped eating what should i feed them so these occasional recipes can definitely help you to uh, change their taste buds for a while also make sure i'm using ingredients which are easily easily available this one is super eager to know that what is cooking because uh, she is getting the smell of mutton uh, since the time i have boiled it in pressure cooker so she is not leaving this kitchen today and she'll be here <laughs> though she is done with her morning breakfast and she is full but she is still here why to blame flurry only when i am getting tempted a delicious aroma is coming through so let's give it some boiling time and i'll be back once this is ready this is getting boiled from last 15 minutes and the veggies are almost mushy and well boiled now I'll keep it for another five minutes without the lid. You can definitely serve it in this uh, consistency as well. But I will keep it for another five minutes to get dried a little. 
this is the exact consistency that I was looking for and I'll switch off the gas. Take this out in a serving bowl. I cannot serve it right now because it's boiling hot. Needs to get it in the room temperature first and you can even store it in small quantities um, in refrigerator for 2-3 to three days and you can serve it as per your convenience. Look at this. Mama, come, tasty, tasty, yummy, yummy. Mm. Mm. Oh, by the time I was done preparing this meal my babies were also done with their morning breakfast and other meals uh, so I kept it for the evening time and I have took this much portion out for uh, today and the rest of the portion I have kept in the refrigerator Flurry was drooling over this meal since morning so she gave no time she jumped over the bowl and uh, she started having it and uh, before serving anything new it's always a tension that whether your baby is going to like it or not uh, but let's see how much flurry uh, does finish and today this is served only to flurry my elder one the younger one kiara um, has little bloating issue since uh, yesterday so today i have served her only her regular uh, boiled chicken and uh, if she is good tomorrow then i'll be serving her uh, this meal again and look at flurry she is not even ready to take her face out from the bowl and uh, she has put the entire uh, face inside the bowl and digging through uh, i think uh, for moms whenever they make anything new this is the best certificate that they get uh, there is nothing left in the bowl to clean she loved the meal and this is the best best satisfaction in the world um, all the efforts that has gone into making this recipe this makes everything successful and everything worth look at this she enjoyed this meal and she was even asking for more uh, but the portion that we served is enough for her and enough for tonight looks like flurry really loved it in case you have also enjoyed watching this video and find it useful uh, make sure you have liked this video subscribe to my channel for more such videos in future and uh, press the notification button on so that you get notified whenever you upload a new one uh, please do like share comment and subscribe stay happy stay safe and stay awesome bye bye